Hi, my name is Instructor Tivan, and I'm here today to show you how to execute this game. First, we're going to show you how to set up the game, then we're going to show you how to properly run the game, and finally, we're going to go over some safety aspects to make sure that this game is the best for your students. This game is called Diagonal Dodgeball. It's another variation of how to play dodgeball. If you do not know how to play dodgeball, please reference that video for more information. So this is how you set up for Diagonal Dodgeball. I have the cone set up from one side of the dojong all the way to the other side with the balls in between each cone. Also, normally we would have the tiger dots on the wall and mirror side, but I have them on the other side of the dojong far away from um, all the ball throwing. And that is how you set up for Diagonal Dodgeball. So, this is how you play diagonal dodgeball. You split the kids up into two teams, evenly, on about six kids or less to make sure that the kids are safe, um, and to have them on either ends of the dojo so that they're equally apart away from the cones and dodgeball. When I say good, the kids are going to go up, they're going to grab the ball, and they're going to start uh, playing the game, and if they're out, they're going to sit on the dojo, or on the other end of the dojo. Okay, ready everyone? Yeah. Awesome, ready, stand up. Stand up. Oh, ready, three. All the way against the wall in the mirror, said all the way against. Ready? Go! There you go. Oh, nice, Molly. Good throw. There you go, Anila. Oh, nice throw, Drew. Oh, nice catch, Callie. Awesome. Oh, good catch, Ella. Oh, close. Oh, good catch again. Nice. Oh, Dylan, you're out. So, Callie, you get to come back in. You go, you got it, nice, nice. Oh, good hit, Andrea. Here are some safety aspects on how to run diagonal dodgeball. You wanna make sure that the tiger dots to indicate where they're out are on the other side of the dojong so that the kids are not being hit with the ball and they're away from the game. Also, you wanna make sure that the students are not pegging, they're not running and screaming, and they're not diving towards the ball so that to make sure that our kids are not getting hurt. These are some final tips on how to run this game. Remember, safety is our number one priority. Also, a great way to get that energy up to, and to get the kids smiling is to use your music and to have the best 74548 that you can. Also, make sure that you're having fun with the kids and play the game with them. If you have any questions, please turn to your operations manager and they can answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a great time running this game.